Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay, thank you for confirming. All right, so we are going to check um, our work. So let me hear some of your sentences. Let's see, um, Karina Elizabeth, tell me a sentence you seem happy. Karina Elizabeth? Can you repeat, please? Yes, can you tell me a sentence using happy? Okay, we are happy. All right, now make it negative, please. We are not happy. Excellent, thank you. Let's see, Ana Baños, tell me a sentence using sad. Sorry, check your microphone, Anna, please. Ahorita. Okay. Ver, eh, are sad. You are sad, and the negative is? You are not sad. You are not sad. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Midei Martinez, tell me a sentence using full. Eh, esta nos costó un poquito. Okay. Este, eh, no sabíamos si, por ejemplo, al principio pensé que era it's the, the part full. Porque, Sorry, can you repeat it? It's the pack full. The pack. Oh, so you say the pack is full. El paquete, right? Uh, no, the parque. Uh, parque. Oh, the park. Okay, yeah. You can say the park is full. The park. Uh -huh. Entonces, good. este, solo se escribe de... The park de, is... O sea, the full. park. It is full. Yes, that is right. Y la, so you say it like the part this. is not the part is full. Así. Okay, uh -huh. now make it negative, please. The part is not is not full. Okay, thank you. So let me explain something about this. So we're talking about the park. So we say the park is full. Then if we'd like to use a pronoun, then we say it is full, right? It is full. Se puede hacer la oración de las dos formas, nada más que este it, siempre necesitamos saber de, de a qué se refiere, ¿verdad? Entonces, si ya usted antes ha mencionado que está hablando del parque, lo puede utilizar de esta forma. It is full or it's full. For example, when you say, um, we went to the park, it was full. Fuimos al parque, estaba lleno, right? Como ya ha mencionado en la primera oración, el parque puede utilizar en la segunda el it. Pero si utilizamos okay. the park, ya no necesitamos ningún pronombre, okay? Okay. All right, thank okay. you, Mireille. Lorena, can you tell me a sentence using a girl? Ahorita. Okay. I am a girl. I am a girl. Very good. In the negative, Lorena? I am not a girl. All right. Thank you. Enrique. Use classmates in a sentence. Uh, 
Yo lo hice eh, con una persona, pero veo que es de, eh, son de, de varias de varias personas. Ah, este, it doesn't matter. Lo que hice uh -huh. es... Ok. Repeat, please. Oh, tell me. Tell me the sentence. <laughs> en español, por favor, no, no me entendí, por favor. Ok, dígame la oración. Oh, he is my classmate. Y el negativo es he is not my classmate. Ok, thank you, Enrique. So let me explain another thing about that. In this case, we have classmates in the plural, right? Mate. We must say they are my classmates. They are my, my classmates. Or if we just want to talk about one classmate, then we can say, well, in this case, we would use better he is or she is my classmate. En este caso, como lo pusimos en el plural, tenemos que decir they. They are my classmates. Uh -huh. Si decidiésemos utilizarlo en el singular como classmate, deberíamos utilizar he or she, dependiendo si estamos hablando de una mujer o de un hombre, ¿ok? Ok. You, Enrique. Gracias. Let's see another example. Mario, use flowers. Puede ser, are you a flower? Are you a flower? Um, what do you mean? Um, ¿Qué es lo que, lo que queremos decir? Uh, por ejemplo, para preguntar, ¿tú eres una flor o algo así? Oh, yeah, in that case you could say it like that. Are you a flower? Uh, are you, no, are, are you a flower? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Sí, podría ser una opción en un determinado contexto, ¿verdad? Eh, ok, thank you, Mario. Maricela Umaña, tell me a sentence using a baker. He is a baker, he is not a baker. Thank you. Lady Abigail, use in the park. Espérame, quiero ver que esa no le he hecho. Okay. Ahorita la estaba. Me había quedado en las siete. Oh. Sería. Me quedé y me si me agarró. Ok, don't worry. Ajá, quiero ver. In... Sería la estoy formulando, permítame. Ok, ok, so meanwhile, let's see. Um, Jasmine Aguirre, can you tell me another sentence using at school? Lady Abigail, did you get it? Y sería you you're, you're in the park. You're in the park, that's correct. And the negative would be you're in no park. You're not in the park. Okay, thank you, lady. All right, okay, so okay. now let's continue. By, by remember about, about the yes, no questions with the verb be. So remember that last class I explained that we have a sentence, for example, I am Salvadoran. 
then what we need to do is to change the order of the elements in the sentence. In this case, we start with a subject, then the verb be. But in the questions, we need the verb be first and to change the subject. So it changes to, are you Salvadoran? Are you Salvadoran? And also remember that we talked about the, the subjects I and you, right? If I ask you, you answer saying I. So um, also we have um, different forms to, or different ways to answer the questions. The short forms would be, yes, I am. Are you Salvadoran? Yes, I am. Or no, I am not. And we can also make a long answer. That would be, yes, I am Salvadoran. Or no, I'm not Salvadorian. Here I have some other questions. Is she your sister? Is she your sister? What could be the answers? So what can we answer to this? Is she not my sister? No, she's not my sister. Or yes. What could be the other answer? So remember, for the short answers, we have no, she's not, or she isn't. Or we could also say yes, she is. Then we have the other options for the long answer. She's not my sister. Or yes, she is my sister. Okay, so you ask, is she your sister? No, she's not. Yes, she is. No, she's not my sister. Yes, she is my sister. Okay, let me give you another example. Here we have, are they your co-workers? Are they your co-workers? What could be the answer? ¿Cómo podemos responder? So you say yes. What do you think? You can say yes, they are. Or no, they aren't. And for the long answers, we have Yes, they are my co-workers, or no, they are not my co-workers. Okay, um, sorry, can you hear me? ¿Me están escuchando bien? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So let's continue with the other example. We have, is it candy? Is it candy? What could be the answers? ¿Cómo podemos responder esta? ¿Cuál, perdón? Is it candy? Perdón, están viendo lo que estoy compartiendo. Está algo retrasado. Ah, not. Candy. Se escucha como que estuviera, como que se trabara sí. y después se escucharán las palabras, pero se escuchan como cortadas. Sí, uh -huh. super mala conexión, disculpen. Ok, so let me tell you. Um, is it candy? We can say yes, it is. Yes. Or yes. no, it is. Yes. It is. No, it isn't. And then we have the long answers. Yes, it is candy or no, it isn't candy. Okay, so remember that for making questions, we change the order of the elements and we start with the verb be. Las oraciones normalmente se inician con un sujeto. I, you, we, Mary, Susan, John, just whoever person. Pero las preguntas se hacen utilizando al inicio el verb be. Inician con 
are, is, or am. Okay, now I need you to make some questions. So here we have some sentences. We are going to make them questions. First one, I am your teacher. What could be the question? ¿Cuál sería la pregunta correspondiente a esta? You are you a teacher? Are you a teacher? Are you a teacher? Are you a teacher? Are you our teacher? Y acá este your lo tenemos que cambiar por our. I am your teacher. Yo soy su maestra. Pero usted me pregunta, ¿es usted nuestra maestra? Are you our teacher? Okay, here I have another one. He is a police officer. He is a police officer. What's the question? Is he? Is, 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 he, is, he, is, is he a no? Is he, he a police officer? Is, you got it. Is he a police officer? And then the answers could be yes, he is, or no, he isn't, right? They are in the mall. They are in the mall. What's the question? Are they in the are they, are they, are they, are they in the mall? The are they in the mall? Do you know the meaning of this word mall? Si ¿Sí conocen el significado de mall. Yes. 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 Centro comercial. Como un centro comercial. Yeah. Okay, next one. She is a singer. What's the question? Are they not? Is she a singer? Is she a singer? Is she a singer? What's the meaning of singer? ¿Cuál es el significado de singer? Cantar. Cantante. Cantante. Okay, next one. The doll is on the sofa. Exactly. Is the doll on the sofa? What's the meaning of doll? Conocemos el, el significado de doll? Yes? Do you know the meaning of doll? No es muñeca. Yeah, it is. Muñeca, okay? Doll, muñeca. Next one. You are the best. What would are be the question? You the best? Are you the best? Are you the best? Excellent. Next one, we are in the same class. Are we in the same class? Are we in the same class? Okay, then we have, they are magazines. What could be the question? Uh, are they, they magazines? Are they, are they magazines? Okay. Do you know the meaning of magazine? Conocemos el significado de esa palabra? Revistas. 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 Okay. Pretty good. So please, everybody, repeat. Teacher. 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 All this officer. 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 
Sofa. The best. The best. The best. The best. Same best. class. Same class. Same, Same class. class. Magazine. Magazine. Okay. So let's move on. All right, so now we are going to answer some questions using long answers. For example, here we have the, the first one, it says, are you a doctor? And for example, Gerardo, are you a doctor? You are a doctor. Yeah, no, no, you are. No, no. I am. I. Continue, Gerard. No, I am. I am not a doctor, okay? Ah, okay, okay. All right, so that's what you have to do. You have to answer by using the long answers. Me va a dar una respuesta completa, no solo yes I am or no I am not, sino que yes I am a doctor or no I am not a doctor. Next one, mi day, <clears throat> are your brothers at home? Um, uh, yes. My uh, brother at home. Okay, very good. Yes, my brothers are at home. You say. Thank you. Yes, my brother. Okay. All right, very good, Mide. Next one. Let's see. Andrea Michel, are you from England? Not are for England. Okay, you say no, I'm not from England. Thank you. Jasmine Aguirre, is your mom busy? Oh, okay. So. Maybe now? <laughs> Yes. Yes, my mom busy. Yes, my mom is busy. Very good. Thank you, Jasmine. Next one, Karina Elizabeth. Are you hungry? Yes, I am. Okay, thank you. Yes, I am hungry, you say. Next one. Carlota Ruiz, is it cold? Yes, it, it is cold. It is cold, excellent. Fatima Eunice, are you happy? Yes, I am happy. Very good. Gian Argueta, are you a student? Um, guys, can you please can you please turn off your microphones? Micrófonos, los que no estemos hablando en este momento. Thank you. Okay. So I was asking oh, who was that? Andrea Argueta, I think. Oh, Diana Argueta, sorry. Diana, are you a student? Yes, I am a student. Okay, thank you, Andrea. Very good. Next one, let's see. Enrique, is your sister at school? Mm -hmm. 
Enrique, can you hear me? Tell me the answer to this one, please. Is your sister at school? Perdón, no, no cargaba ahí, no he visto que el micrófono lo tenía apagado. Ok, no worry. No, my sister is not a school. Ok. At school. Very good, Enrique. Mario Juárez, are you in class now? Yes, I, I am in class now. Excellent. So that's the way we use long answers for the yes no questions in the ver with the verb B. So now let's talk a little bit about some vocabulary we have. Let me just share the video with you. Let's see. Okay, so maybe you have watched this video. It talks about some things that we may have in our bags. So let's listen, look at the pictures, and then we are going to repeat and practice. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with common objects, which people... Can you hear the video? ¿Pueden escuchar el video? Yes. Okay. Sí, se escucha. Um, in their right. back. We will listen to a quick audio and you should listen and repeat. An address book. A hairbrush. A wallet. Sunglasses. A CD player. A camera. Keys. A cell phone. Hi, everyone. In this class. Okay, so we have different objects. Please repeat a camera. 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 A camera. A camera. A camera. 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 An address book. An address book. Address book. Address book. A hairbrush. A hairbrush. A hairbrush. A, hairbrush. A, hairbrush. A, wallet. A wallet. A wallet. A wallet. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. A CD player. A CD player. A cell phone. A cell keys. 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 keys, keys, okay, so those are some objects that we may have in our bags, let's see, all right, so we're going to continue with this lesson, so by the end of this class, you will become familiar with the usage of this and these, so first of all, let's take a look at the pronunciation. Let's hear the difference in pronunciation. So this one is shorter, this one is longer. So we say this, these, this, these. La pronunciación mm -hmm. es bastante parecida. Sin embargo, eh, hay que poner mucha atención en que este es con una I corta. This, this. Y este se pronuncia de una forma más marcada, con una I más larga. These. So now repeat. This. 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 These. 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 Okay, and how do we use it? Well, first of all, we have this form, this. It's for the singular. We use it when we're talking about only one thing. For example, when we say, what's this? It's a, a pencil. pencil. 
it's a pencil. It's or a we pencil. Say, this is a bottle. This is a bottle. Now repeat, please. What's this? This is a bottle. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? It's a pencil. It's a pencil. A pencil. This is a bottle. This is a bottle. A bottle. Okay. Then we have. Then we have the other form. These. Repeat, please. These. 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 Okay, that is the form we use for the plural when we're talking about more than one thing. For example, well, we use it in the question, what are these? What are these? Repeat, please. What are what these? Are these? What, are these? what are these? What are these? Their sunglasses. Their sunglasses. 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 These are sunglasses. These are sunglasses. Okay, so that would be the difference, right? This is for only one thing. These for more than one thing. And then what's this and what are these? Estamos preguntando qué es esto, qué son estos, right? What's this? What are these? Okay, so we're going to stop over here. Thank you very much for your attention and for participating in the class. I'm so sorry about the inconveniences we had today. It was so, uh, so awful with the internet. So sorry about that. Disculpen los problemas con el internet. La verdad es que pasa de repente en estas modalidades. Tengo frío. Esperemos que mañana sea mejor, okay? So take care okay. and have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Take care.